Islamic State is continuing its push for the centre of Kobani. In latest developments, suicide bombers have attempted to dislodge Kurdish defences. That's according to local officials and the UK-based monitoring group the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. It included one incident where an armed vehicle was driven into a checkpoint situated in the northwest of the city. Well, in the meantime, regional Kurdish leaders are meeting in Iraq on Tuesday to come up with a strategy on humanitarian aid and military assistance. It follows the British Foreign Minister's meeting with the Prime Minister of Iraq's Kurdish region. Neshiavan Barzani told Philip Hammond that weaponry was proving one of their biggest challenges in the fight against Islamic State, also known as ISIS and ISIL. It's clear that we need more advanced, you know, heavy weapons, anti-tank, you know, I mean, helicopters and more advanced weapons uh, to fight against this uh, ISIS. Elsewhere, and in Kobani, Kurdish fighters from the YPG, that's the People's Defense Unit, have seized a large quantity of Islamic State weaponry. The footage, uploaded to their YouTube site, shows a member of the YPG's Women's Defense Unit presenting the stash. Back in Britain... I'm talking on behalf of the head of the Cantley family. My father, Paul, is terminally ill and incapacitated. The sister of British hostage John Cantley has appealed for IS militants holding her brother to reopen dialogue with them. Hello there, I'm John Cantley. Cantley, a British journalist who was abducted in Syria in 2012, has appeared in four Islamic State propaganda videos, but in recent days there's been no response from IS to regular postings from the family. We implore IS to reinitiate direct contact.